And OK, so yeah, welcome to our final demo. I'll let Ico take it away whenever he's ready. So hello, everyone, and welcome to the final demo of Summarization Nation. In today's world, information has become so abundant that many people struggle, struggle to filter out the noise around them and focus on what is truly relevant or noteworthy. We members of Summarization Nation were especially drawn to this issue because as high schoolers and college students ourselves, we often are required to read, absorb, and synthesize information in the form of Zoom lectures, academic papers, or YouTube videos, which can be exceptionally time-consuming and mentally draining. As such, Summarization Nation has spent the past 10 weeks tackling this problem, and we are proud to display the fruits of our labor to you this evening in the form of a web app we developed. I'll now pass on to Shrieker, who will shed some insight onto the solutions we came up with. Absolutely. Um, hence, to optimize time and extra unnecessary efforts in summarizing audio, video, or text, we have developed this incredible product, Summarization Nation, to do just that. Our product is very much capable to present key ideas through a summary to the user via an accessible website deployed on a reliable deployment service for ease and effectiveness. We have also utilized and took advantage of the available resources to the best of our ability, specifically uh, language models, including cutting edge GPT-3. All of these factors put together has resulted in providing amazing outputs altogether. I'll now pass it on to Emily. We've used a variety of tools for this project, from front-end development to back-end development to deployment. Each step was a learning opportunity for all of us. Going into this program, all of us were either on somewhat familiar or a complete stranger to these things. But throughout this incubator, we've all learned so much and become better developers because of it. Back-end folks gained further mastery of Django, GPT-3, Assembly AI, Railway, and Docker, while the front-end folks grew their skills on React, Tailwind, and Figma. We've all become better programmers, as well as better problem solvers. Throughout these past 10 weeks, we've run into a variety of problems, but through perseverance and self-discipline, as well as learning from each other, we're all proud of what we've accomplished. And with that, I'll pass it to Kieran. So one important question is, why are we unique? Our apps individually is easily dismissed with a Google search for a summary app. So why should you choose us? Well, remember these three simple terms, technology, accessibility, and scalability. For Summarization Nation, we use cutting edge DPT3 and assembly AI technology to create our own summaries, while other companies utilize slower methods. Furthermore, our project is a web app, so it is easily accessible, and the platforms that the app was built off of allows the product to be easily scalable. Now, let's talk about the future with Nicole. Hi, um, after the incubator program is over, where do we go from here? So some ideas we have and we hope to integrate in the future are Chrome extension, being able to summarize multiple languages languages and images, and we've also thought about having a new logo and name. Currently, one of our most popular options is Samurai. Samurai is basically a play on words, which is summarizing AI or Samurai. Now, our team can reflect on our experiences with the incubator program. Hello once again, everyone. Uh, these past 10 weeks in this incubator have exponentially improved my growth as a developer and have, in general, just been an amazing experience. Despite the incubator's end, I'm still planning to strengthen these traits and abilities and to develop even more of them. As of right now, I'm continuing these traits by creating a website for my friend to tutor people on, and I'm planning to create a website for my high school's programming club using the React knowledge that I gained. Moreover, I'll continue to use my gained experience and knowledge in places such as college or for other future self-started programming projects. Now, I would like to pass the spotlight back to my fellow front-end teammate, Nicole, to, to let Thank them you. talk about their incubator experience. Hi, thank you. Um, I'm Nicole. I worked at the front end in design. And looking back at my 10 weeks working with the incubator program, I'm shocked by the amount I've learned and grown in such a short time. I got to be a part of an incredible team, and it was a decision I would never regret making. In Summarization Nation, everyone heavily contributed to the project. It was a fantastic, fantastic feeling to know that your teammates are reliable, willing to put in the effort and meet deadlines, and that there were people who had your back. In the future, I wish to dive deeper into the world of CS and AI by taking more courses, classes, and finding other opportunities similar to the Team Tomorrow Incubator program. I want to be able to share my knowledge with others who have yet to learn. My love for CS has only expanded thanks to this program, and sometimes I wonder if this opportunity was all a dream. And now, um, sorry, I'll pass it off to Shrieker. Well, again, everyone, uh, I'm Shrieker Vimori, the full stack developer working on the back end and front end for this absolutely phenomenal incubator project, Summarization Nation. This 10 week incubator journey has definitely been a roller coaster and has been such an amazing experience. Each interval of the product um, served as a checkpoint for enhancing my development skills and soft skills throughout the team, including the vital ones, communication, proactiveness, time management, etc. 
As a full stack developer, I've been able to enhance my technical still skills while taking the view of a professional product through the connections and development through Django, AI model integration, complex functionalities, and connections with the front end. I've developed communication and soft skills as well to effectively produce an amazing product with re reliability and proactiveness with my team that was shown throughout this experience. A stronger connection with my teammates helped me gain self-discipline and effectiveness in speaking or social factors in general to make sure I can create stronger bonds and collaboration skills. Most importantly though, self-learning was such an essential part of the product as I've solidified my abilities in being able to research effectively and gain knowledge with analysis in different available sources. In debugging or spontaneous learning, I've urged myself to learn and rely on other sources or communicate with other experts on my own. Afterwards, there are an immense amount of opportunities still available in the world, and I believe that this is a wonderful experience would, uh, and would prove success and confidence in professional products as such. I'm ready for other such products to leverage my skills and begin projects on my own or professional experiences, including internships and more. I will now pass it on to Aiko. Hello again, I'm Aiko Rice, one of the product managers and a backend engineer. Going into this incubator, I was nervous about dedicating 10 whole weeks to a singular project, yet I now am disappointed that my time with my team has flown by so quickly. Overall, these past 10 weeks have helped expose me to web development, a topic with which I was almost entirely unfamiliar with, as well as a variety of skills and knowledgeable programmers, many of whom are in fact younger than me. Beyond the technical skills mentioned earlier, the Team Tomorrow incubator has also developed many of my soft skills. From teamwork and working with conflicting ideas, to public speaking and presenting, as well as communicating, our group proudly boasting the most messages of any group channel, to even improving how I learn and utilize resources, all of my soft skills have matured thanks to my team and our project. As I continue my journey as a programmer and developer and begin applying to college internships, I hope to continue leveraging these skills and techniques that I have sharpened here at AI Camp, improving the work dynamic of any team I find myself a part of and creating some effective code. I'll now pass it on to my fellow backend engineer, Emily. Hi everyone, I'm Emily. These pets Past 10 weeks of the incubator have been wild. To be completely honest, going to this program, I totally didn't expect to learn and grow so much. Though I mostly worked as a backend engineer, I also got to learn from my front end teammates by looking at their code. I'm ex really, I'm extremely thankful for being able to spend these 10 weeks with such an amazing team. As I look forward to future endeavors, this experience will serve as a solid foundation for me. I'm currently looking into pursuing a little passion project and I can clear clearly see what needs to be put in place in order to create it. This incubator gave me a clear blueprint of how professional projects should be completed and just how much time is needed to work on them. Being thrown, being thrown into, into this environment sharpened me to be an effective communicator and problem solver. I used to be a pretty nervous speaker in meetings, but participating in these weekly demos have made me a lot more comfortable. Outside of being a team member, I've also learned to be an independent developer. I'll be forever grateful for what I've gained and these skills will definitely follow me into the future. Alrighty. Okay. So that hopefully you guys got an idea of how our team's kind of grown over the last 10 weeks. And now we'll have an extra bit of a live demo for you guys. Let me just pull on that up. Okay. So here we go. Okay. So, you know, over the last 10 weeks, we've kind of shown you the development of our web page and our web app. So just kind of quickly showing you some, some extra features we've added. Um, we kind of got a kind of cool drawing that Nicole did down here that kind of shows, you know, kind of in a fun way, you know, how, how our app works. Um, but more importantly, you know, one of the things that Ico mentioned at the start of his, um, you know, kind of section was that this can be really useful for students or people who are, you know, kind of in the, the process of learning. So, you know, over the last 10 weeks, we've typically shown you our app in the focus of, you know, kind of summarizing one of Alex's weekly videos. But today we're going to kind of turn away from that and actually summarize some text. Um, directly put in rather than transcribing some videos. So we're just going to go ahead and tra transcribe a poem, you know, a poem that's often used to teach in English, you know, something that a high school student might encounter, right? And, and it's a poem that, you know, not might not necessarily be the easiest to kind of understand what's happening. So let's go ahead and see if we can get a kind of cool summary out of it. So let's go for a bullet point summary in some PhD level language. Go ahead and hit summarize. So we've added a couple extra cool features. And so it goes ahead and spits out the kind of cool bulleted summary for us that you can kind of idea to understand the poem, um, if not kind of help you on your assignments. And so we can go ahead and reset down here, and we can try again with something else later on. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed our demo, and uh, we thank you for your time. Round of applause. Dude, I can't believe your guys' is, the, the, the product's so cool. How are you going to only show me one example of text 
of the, you, you gave me this whole big windup and you showed me the product for 20 seconds. <laughs> awesome. Awesome stuff. Um, would love to see, would love to see a demo if we, if we've got any other content that we could, we can run through it, but, um, you know, round of applause for, for our summarization nation team. Um, I mean, you guys had me beaming the whole time. The presentation was great. The product's awesome. Um, you know, I, a, a bunch of really great things to say. Kudos to, to your whole team, seriously. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, the, the server is up for anyone to try. There currently is a file size limit um, just because, you know, the, the server will time out if you upload something way too big. Um, but the, the link is up so you guys can try out, you know, uploading video, uploading audio, uploading text directly. Um, and, you know, GPT-3 isn't always perfect, but you can definitely get a good output uh, after trying it out a couple of times. And we've also launched on Product Hunt, which we will link in the Zoom chat as well. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Um, I think next up, I mean, we have a little bit of a break. Next up, we have our writing emails with GPT-3 team. I think we've got time. Uh, I, I don't know if, you know, it's, we're supposed to kick that off in 15 minutes. So we've got a little bit of a, a gap here and then we've got two more two more products at the end. Um, do you have the, any way we can demo like a, a video or, or audio or something? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, sure. Um, Sweet. Yeah, actually, I, I can go ahead and. I, I don't know if we might have, we might, I don't know if everyone flooded to it and, and we killed the site, but. Yeah, hopefully we can, we can go ahead and test that out. Uh, I can try with actually the, the video you uploaded recently for the final week. So go ahead and transcribe it. So typically this is what takes the longest amount of time. Um, we tried implementing Whisper and this is something we'd want to do in the future as well. Uh, Whisper, we, you know, this is, is very resource intensive. Uh, and so that caused its server to time out on even small files. Um, but the possibilities with it are really cool, especially when it comes to language translation and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, definitely in, in terms of the future of this product, you know, whether that's us or whoever takes this on, would definitely be implementing that um, and, and adding workers to handle larger files. And I could totally see, and I could totally see too, I mean, Hugging Face recently added the ability to have like a hosted endpoint that you're just, you know, putting on a, a larger, you know, system. So you could have just like an endpoint that you run somewhere. And, and um, it, actually, if, if I recall correctly, Whisper runs on CPU as well. So you just, and CPU is even cheaper. So you can have like a dedicated CPU up and running that, you know, does the transcription and then you just ping for, for the requests. I definitely know, yeah, transcriptions oh, takes a sec. Um, yeah. And I don't know if, if, if somebody there might you go. want to. Cool. So yeah, so here's your, here's the transcription. Um, I think this one actually transcribed pretty well. So there's not any errors for us to fix, but a couple of the other ones, it, it spelled Django as Django, a couple of kind of odd stuff. So you can go ahead and fix that in the, in the box itself. Um, but then you can kind of choose a kind of summary. I, I like the bullet point summary. It tends to work pretty fun. You can kind of choose a language level if, if that's something you're interested in. Is that elementary? Let's see if it, if it thinks. You're getting worked in this game, Gokul. I'm getting destroyed. <laughs> it's hard, so hard. All right, so here we go. Yeah, so we've kind of got this. Um, it, Kind of sometimes the, the prompt will bleed through, um, but luckily, you know, you, you are able to kind of delete, you know, hey, this isn't relevant to us. You can go ahead and delete that and then go ahead and, and kind of download it from there. Nice. Um, so that's kind of a cool feature we've added. So sometimes, you know, it, it kind of thinks this is a very smart elementary schooler. Um, so the language is something we'd also like to fine tune. But yeah, you have a couple options as to what you kind of want to do here. Um, and, and the cool thing is, you know, once you transcribe once, you don't need to do it again. You can go ahead and hit summarize for a kind of different different style. And it'll go back and, you know, because it's based on what's in the left here, the transcription process doesn't need to happen again and again. So the summarizing process is a lot quicker. So here we go. Yeah. Nice. Awesome, awesome stuff. Yep. Thank Feeling you guys. The mix of sadness and excitement is right. All right. <laughs> thank you guys.